You know, the great thing, the Colonel just had the right idea. He knew what kind of pizzas he wanted to make. He knew what he wanted his product to be. And he just was not willing to change anything to compromise that. We've had a long-term partnership with our supplier out in California. And when the right tomato for our product is ready, that's when they pack our sauce. We try to get that tomato into sauce as quickly as possible. And, and that's important because we really want to have a fresh tasting sauce that the Colonel would be proud of. The whole entire process, we try to get it done in four to six hours. Once that tomato is picked, it goes from there directly to the factory. Then they're clean and steam peeled. Then it starts going through the sorting process. The amount of hands and eyes that are actually on those tomatoes as they go through the line. It's always been impressive to me and it's really amazing to see how many people there are checking and double checking and rechecking to make sure that only the best tomatoes end up in the pizza sauce. And the cook process is interesting because it's not much different than cooking on top of the stove. You know, the whole sauce is, is just made just on a larger scale, but in the same exact process almost that you would do if you were making a small pot at home. We have never changed an ingredient. We've never taken an ingredient out or put another one in. And that goes back to the Colonel's recipe. That goes back to the original formulas that he started, that he took out there. When that fresh sauce goes into that package, it stays fresh. So when the store gets it and opens it, it's really at its peak. It's really the best flavor that it could possibly be. We try to stay as true to the Colonel's original ideas as we possibly can.